Yeah, yesterday, friends and family of Avales met here to remember their lost loved one. And today, now that there was an arrest, they tell me that now they can begin the healing process. So here's a look at the mugshot. Mesa police arresting 18-year-old Peter Calbron III and charged him with manslaughter. Police were called out to Calbron's house near University Drive and Gilbert Road around 2 a.m. Sunday. They found Alvarez dead inside. According to court documents, Calbron and a witness made false statements to the police about what happened. They originally blamed someone who wasn't there. The witness later told police those statements were false and claimed Cabron shot the victim. After conducting a search warrant, police say they found video of Cabron pointing a gun at Alvarez several times and found the gun in a bedroom. Alvarez's dad spoke to us this afternoon following the arrest. He says these past couple days he was full of anger and sleepless nights, but now that an arrest was made, he says he can begin healing and is hopeful people can remember his son for who he was. Even at 18 years old, you know, his accomplishments and all that, but about the kind of person that he made the impact on the community, impact on his family, impact on, you know, church. But I knew that he was a special kid all along, as well as my other children. I love them all, you know, and um, it's, it's, we're gonna, I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna definitely miss him a whole lot. Police paperwork say witnesses also saw the suspect fire a gun from the bed of a truck while driving around a neighborhood. Now, on top of that manslaughter charge, he is also facing two counts of unlawful discharge of a firearm. Now, many of Avales's siblings were also here remembering their brother, many wishing they spent more time with him. We'll hear more from them tonight at 9. For now, in Mesa, I'm Stephen Sarabia with Arizona's family. Stephen, thank you. Still